Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Lerunzo and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a flyer that looks like this one here. Now this is part 2 of our business flyer design series and if you haven't watched the first tutorial I'll have a link to that in the description down below. I encourage you to watch that first if you're a beginner in GIMP but if you're not and you know how the software works and you know your way around then that's okay because in this tutorial I'm going to be moving slightly faster. I've already opened up GIMP, created a new canvas with the A4 template and then I've already added my guides. As you can see I've added a horizontal guide at 50% and a vertical guide at 50%. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try my best to recreate this. So how we're going to do this is basically we're going to be moving from the bottom up. So if you look at the right bottom right hand corner of the screen, I'm going to be following the layers that are there. So the first thing we're going to do is, since we have a default background, is to add this image layer there. So we're going to go to that canvas and add that image. So I'm going to click and drag. Right, at this stage it's really not that important to scale the image since we're going to make final adjustments after adding the next layer. So I'll just leave it at this here. Rather let me just... Yeah. Let's leave it like that for now. So I'm going to add a new layer and then I'm going to change the colors here. I will add a darker shade of gray here. And then the next step, I'll add a gradient right on top of that layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a gradient right on top of that layer like that. Okay, so the gradient I've just added right here. Let me just open that up. Is, an, is a foreground to transparent and then now we're going to right click on that layer and then add a layer mask now we're going to add the white full opacity layer mask so let's go ahead and click add with our layer mask selected and with the black color on top here I'm going to select the paths tool zoom in a bit on that select the first point roughly around here Make an adjustment right there. Okay, once you're happy with that, press enter. Select the bucket tool and fill that in. And there we have it. Command, control, or control, shift, A. Now the next step is to add this gradient, not rather a shape layer that's going to be covering just this corner here. So let's create a new layer and call it shape one, enter. Select the rectangle two and then change the colors. I'm gonna add this shade of green here. That's the HTML notation if you wanna use that same shade. It's 009822, uh, click okay. You can right click, edit, fill with foreground color or you can just fill that in with the bucket tool. All right, let's deselect that and now let's position that. And then change the transparency. I'll have mine at 30%. Now we're going to create these shape layers here, these two layers here. To do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag a guide like here. Put the first guide right on top of the king's crown and then the next guide right at the king's base. There. Let's create a new layer for that. So I'll rename it to shape 2. Select the paths tool. Once you're happy with that, press enter, right click, edit with foreground color now with the shape still selected I'm going to change the bottom color to yellow and then I'm going to use the gradient tool to create a gradient that looks like that so this is again a foreground to transparent gradient that should be fine now we just select everything now you'll notice that on this one here I've got two layers one at the top and one at the bottom but I chose to create the one at the top uh, first but you can always go ahead and do the other way around so now I'm going to create the one at the bottom 
I'll create a new layer, rename that to shape 3, press enter. And then I'm just going to bring a guide here just in case. Pass tool again. Oh, but let me just drag another one. And then we close that up, zoom in, make the adjustments. Press enter if you're okay with them. Right click, edit, fill with BG color. That's your background color. And with the layer still selected, select the gradient tool. And then create that layer, that yellow gradient on top there. If you select everything, I'm just gonna remove those since I'm not gonna be using them anymore. So let's drag that right to the bottom, right, right in between uh, shape 3, shape 2 and shape 1. Right? We're going to select shape layer number 2, go to filters, light and shadow, select drop shadow. And then you can adjust the opacity for your drop shadow. I think that's fine for me. I'm going to click OK. So once you do this, the top layer really pops up. So next I'm going to add the logo. So this is the logo I used in the first video. I created this logo specifically for these tutorials. So I'm just going to click and drag that onto the canvas. And then let's position that. I'll scale mine because it's a little too large. It's, it's slightly larger than I would like it. Now we're going to go to the bottom there. Uh, we're going to add uh, two shapes right at the bottom. One of them is the rectangular bar. So let's start by selecting the rectangle tool and then I'm going to change the color here. I'll add a lighter shade of gray. That's okay. Now I'm just going to click and drag. Or rather, I'm going to add a new layer. Let's name that to rectangle. Click OK. Now right click in that layer, edit, fill with foreground color. Please select everything. And I'll change the transparency on the layer. I'll change the transparency on that layer to 15%. I can recycle this one here. Place it slightly right at the top there. Like that. And then let's create a new layer. Name that to bottom shape or shape four or shape five. That's up to you. And then select the pen tool. Alright, let's close that up. Then make adjustments. Press enter. Change the color to the green there. Bring it back. Right click, edit, full foreground color. And then we select the gradient tool, put gel on top, and then add the gradient. You select everything. So now the next step is to add the QR code and oh, that does, that's not perfect but anyway I apologize for that. So now we're going to add the QR code and the social media icons. So you'll find that there are so many websites you can use to create a QR code online. All you need to do is enter your social media, um, your website or any landing page or social media account you want your clients or prospective clients to you know get to so i'm just going to click and drag that so normally once you've created your qr code online you'll have it in png format or jpeg format so i'm just going to click and drag mine here so we're going to scale that and change the color so we can go ahead and change the colors first that's still okay we're going to go to colors and select invert that converts converts it to black and then we're going to scale that down. And then I'm just going to add my text there. Right, so on this one here, I've got social media icons here. So we're going to go ahead and add those. Alright, 
after lining up my icons like that i'm gonna go ahead and merge them all together down and now all of these are one now all of these are one layer and then i'm gonna move on to i'm gonna go ahead and select the colors option desaturate them it's on luminance so i'll select ok and then go to colors again levels and then move this little cursor here all the way down there and select ok and now i have essentially turned that into a black um recolored them all into black all right so the next step is now to add all that uh, the details and the text on the inside there now what i did with the first one if you remember the first tutorial is i don't really go through all i don't really go through the whole process of adding the text layers but what i can do for example is just show you how to add this one here and then if you've watched the first tutorial you'd know how to add everything else there these circles here are actually there in place of actual icons you're going to be using to sell your various business services so you can always go ahead and download custom customized icons um we have you can always go and download customizable options uh from freepick.com from flaticon.com or any other website that allows you to download um royalty free icons so i'm just going to add this here So basically that's how you do it that's how you create the template or that's how you create a flyer that looks like this one here the body of the text will now depend on you your prospective clients and how you choose to advertise or market your business what i've just done is show you how how to create a flyer that looks like this one here so what i've done is i have added a link in the description below for a template of that flyer and like i said i will not add the image i will not add the logo and i will not be adding the qr code as well and as always guys if you like this tutorial if you find it useful and helpful please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share the video with your friends your peers and colleagues it really helps us um, a lot like a whole bunch and yeah as always thank you guys for watching